with the theory that all banjo players would like to have more easy tunes that sound great, I wrote a little piece called Ring the Banjo. I got the idea for the title of the song from this book, which covers the early roots of the banjo on up through its popularity in American culture. I featured this song early in my EPUB, Bluegrass Banjo in 10 Easy Steps. Only one right hand roll is needed to perform the entire piece, the forward reverse roll. You can tap any boldface term throughout the book to get a more detailed explanation. Often video is embedded right on the page to show you how it's done. Here's the tab for the solo I performed. The tiny numbers 1 and 2 suggest the left hand fingers to use. If needed, you can tap on the photo to get a larger visual image. The sound bars at the bottom of the screen demonstrate each song at a slow then faster speed. There are just a couple of tips to help you play the song better. Be sure to move your left hand fingers during the open string notes at the end of each measure. For part B, your right hand fingers will have to move over to strings 4, 3, and 2, which is a little unusual. Lastly, your second finger has to move from string 3 to 2 during the final measure of the tag ending. We'll now conclude with me playing the piece slowly with the tab on the screen. If you'd like to check out the EPUB Bluegrass Banjo in 10 Easy Steps, it runs on any Apple device using the Books app. You can search for it in the Apple Bookstore while the app is open. If you enjoy these kind of easy songs and want more instruction in this vein, leave a comment in the comment section below. All right, give it a try, have fun. One, two, three, four.